Right, tonight I'm continuing my message on destiny, fulfilling destiny. Let me start by saying destiny is your appointed or ordained journey. Everyone has a destiny. Hear me. You have a destiny. You have a destiny to fulfill. It is your appointed or your ordained journey orchestrated by God. I pray that that destiny of yours be fulfilled. Amen. Let it be fulfilled. Amen. Nothing will come between you and the fulfillment of your destiny. Amen. Number two, destiny is your divinely appointed future. Your divinely appointed future. The Bible said, I know the plans I have for you. They are not plans of evil, but they are plans of good to do what? To bring you to an expected end. So you have an expected end. The bank manager has an expected end. The lawyer has an expected end. The preacher has an expected end. You also have an expected end. I declare over your life that may your expected end not be aborted. Amen. It will never be aborted. Amen. The coronavirus pandemic diseases and sicknesses, paternal, maternal sickness, divine enchantment of the enemy against you shall never be able to abort your destiny Amen. in the name of Jesus. What is destiny number three? Destiny, I said, is your mission on earth according to the programmings of God. Destiny is your mission on earth according to the word programmings of God. Destiny is your mission on earth according to the programmings of God. Share to all your friends, share to all your family, share to your sisters, share to your brothers, William and co. Share to everyone. It's your mission on earth according to the word programmings of God. And ladies and gentlemen, in order to fulfill destiny, watch this. There is always a manward side and there is a Godward side. In order to fulfill your destiny, there is a manward side and there is a Godward side. Or there is a manward responsibility and there is a Godward responsibility. There are certain things that God will do for you in order to fulfill your destiny. And there are certain things that man, you and I must also do in order to fulfill our destiny. God will give us grace, which he has done. God will give us favor, which he has done. God will give us protection, which he has done. God will give us preservation, which he has done. There are many things that God has done. Bible says, and God has given unto us everything that pertained unto what? Life and godliness. So God has done his part. The rest is you and I. How are you going to fulfill your destiny? What investment are you going to put into your destiny? Ladies and gentlemen, listen to me. There are so many things to do in order to fulfill destiny. On Wednesday, before I get to that, I told you five facts about destiny. Five facts about destiny. Number one, I said great destinies are the product of what? Great decisions. Great destinies are what? The product of what? Great what? Decisions. Don't forget that. Every destiny of yours shall be catapulted into fruition by virtue of decisions that you make in life. Number two, I said great decisions are more important than good conditions. You may have a good condition, but if you don't make a commensurate good decision, that destiny will never come to pass. Mm. There are many people who didn't have good conditions in the beginning of their life, but because they made great decisions, they were able to fulfill destiny. Say to your friends, there are also people who had good conditions like Judas, Esau, these are men like who? Absalom. These are men who were opportune in life. They had good factors that were surrounding them, but they did not make the right decisions in life. Mm. Judas was opportune to follow Christ. Absalom was the son of David. Mm. I'm not speaking to somebody here, yeah. but they did not make the right decisions in life. 
Share to all your friends right now in the name of Jesus. Number three, I said, the way you choose determines the place you end in life. The way you choose determines the place you end in life. The way you choose determines the place you end in life. So choose well. Choose well. Choose well. Choose well. Choose well. If you don't choose well, you will not end well in life. Choose well. Choose well. If you don't choose well, you will never end well in life. The way you choose determines the place you end in life. The way you choose determines the place you end in life. Number four, I said life must be lived by choice and not by chance. Say to all your friends, I will never live my life by chance, but I will live my life by good choices, good decisions in life and destiny. And number five, I said, the greatest decision that you can ever make in life is to choose to become everything that God has ordained you to be. Somebody shout, I hear you. I hear you. Somebody shout, I hear, I hear you. Now tonight, I want to tell you men and women in the Bible that made great choices in life. Men and women in the Bible that were able to make great choices in life. And I will start with Abraham. Somebody say Abraham. Abraham. Somebody say Abraham. Abraham. In the book of Genesis chapter 12 verse 1 to 4. Man of God, Pasaki, please read for me. Genesis chapter 12 verse 1 to 4. We want to look at the man Abraham. Share to all your friends. We are going to look at the quality decisions that Abraham made. Now the Lord has said to Abraham get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house unto a land that I will show thee. Verse 2. And I will make of thee a great nation and I will bless thee and make thy name great and thou shalt be a blessing. Verse 3, and I will bless them that bless thee and curse them that curse thee. And in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Verse 4, so Abraham, so Abraham departed as the Lord has spoken unto him. I want to start by saying that Abraham is the father of faith. Abraham was a mighty man. Abraham was a great man. But there are certain choices that Abraham made. I want to share to you five things that Abraham, five decisions that Abraham made. Number one, Abraham decided to choose to go to where God is. Abraham made a choice to go to where God is. Share to all your friends. Share to all your friends. Abraham made a choice to go to where God is. He chose to live in the will of God. The choice to live in the plan of God at any cost will catapult you to your next level of life. Always choose to be in the will of God. Choose to be in the plan of God. God said to him, leave thy kindred and go to a place where I will show you. Verse 4 says, so Abraham what? departed. Abraham made a choice. Always choose to be in the will of God. Don't choose to be in your own will. Don't choose to be in man's will. But choose to be in the will of God. Choose to be in what? The will of God. Choose to be in the will of God. There are many people who are not in the will of God. Make sure that the will of God is at the center of your life. Make sure that it is at the center of your life. I'm asking to somebody here. You must make a choice to move according to the will of God. I'm asking to somebody here. There are two choices that you can make concerning the will of God. We have the permissive will of God and we have the perfect will of God. Share to all your friends. The permissive will of God or what? The perfect will of God. The permissive will of God is the will that you take. But because you have been pressing God, God permits it. It is the will and it is the choice that you take. But because you are pressing, God allows it. For instance, you saw a man. You wanted to marry the man. Even before you prayed, you have already made your choice. 
Nakupone, Eze, Etrumuta, Eyan Oroko. Oh God, I love this man. I love this woman. God, please let it be this man. When you went to pray to God, you said, Lord, I like this man. Lord, I love this man. You did not say, Lord, is this the man for my life? Mm. Two different things. Yes, Lord, is this the man for my life? Or did you say, Lord, I love this man? You must go to God always seeking his will, seeking his plan, seeking the, 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 the desire of God concerning what you want to do. That is the permissive will of God. But the perfect will of God is what God knows about the situation. When God said, this is not the one, you have to go by it. There are many people spiritually, financially, even in ministry, who have decided to go according to the permissive will of God. And because they went by the permissive will of God, they didn't prosper. Hear me. The perfect will of God is backed by his grace. But the permissive will of God has no grace. Come on, share to all your friends. Share to all your friends. I want you to share. I want you to share. I want you to share. The 50 people that will click share. If you click share, I'm telling you, I see God move you into his perfect will. Amen. Let me tell you, the perfect will of God is backed by his grace. But the permissive will of God has no grace. You will suffer if you are in the permissive will of God. Am I speaking to somebody here? Make sure you are in the perfect will of God for your life. The perfect will of God for your life. It is the choice to sacrifice personal comfort, personal convenience, or personal company on the altar of the counsel of God. When you say it's my comfort, but I leave my comfort and I accept your will. It is my wish, but I leave my wish and I accept your will. I'm asking you to somebody here. That is the will of God. The choice to live in the perfect will of God for your life. I prophesy yes, over your life. Yes, I declare yes, over somebody's life uh, that be located in the perfect will of God. Amen. Be located in the perfect will of God. Amen. Receive grace. Receive, receive anointing. Receive, receive unction. Receive, receive power. Receive, receive goodness. Receive. To be in the perfect will of God for your life. The perfect will of God, it is the choice to leave your future in the hands of God. It is the choice to leave your future in the hands of God. You need to trust God that God is able to do it. I leave my future in your hands. Share to all your friends, I leave my future in your hands. I leave my tomorrow in your hands. I leave my family in your hands. I leave my husband in your hands. I leave my wife in your hands. I'm asking to somebody here. The perfect will of God says, I don't know tomorrow, but I know that you are able to do it for me. Amen. So I leave it in your hands. Abraham left his comfortable relationship and he put his life in the hands of God. That is the first choice Abraham made. Mm. Number two choice that Abraham made. Abraham made a choice to exceed the limits of his father. Mm. Share to all your friends. Abraham chose to exceed the limits of his father. Abraham's father's name was called Terah. Mm. But Abraham chose to go beyond where his father ended. Make a choice to go beyond where your father ended. I'm asking to somebody here. If your father died at the age of 60, you will not die at the age of 60. You will die at the age of 100. You will die at the age of 95. I declare in the name of Jesus, what killed your father will not kill you. What killed your mother will not kill you. What killed those who have gone ahead of you shall not kill you. In the name of Jesus, receive that grace. Share to all your friends. I got you to share. Joycelyn, you are welcome. Georgina, you are welcome. Benjamin, you are welcome. 
My goodness, my goodness, Frederick Osu Setcher, you are welcome. Inkechi, you are welcome. Come on, guys, begin to share to all your friends. He made the choice to go beyond where his father ended. Mm. May God catapult you beyond the limits of your father, the barriers of your father. Oh my goodness. That thing that hindered your father will not hinder you. In the name of Jesus. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. I said 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 receive it. Shout yes. Abraham's father was called Terah. He was the first person that went to Canaan. But ladies and gentlemen, when they got to Canaan, he died. Hallelujah. When they got there, he died. But ladies and gentlemen, Abraham decided to go beyond where the father died. I'm not speaking to somebody here. Genesis chapter 11, verse 31. Genesis chapter 11, verse 31. They were going to Canaan, but something happened. Bible says, and Terah took who? Abraham. And Terah took Abraham, his son. And Lot, the son of Haran, his son's son. And Sarai, his daughter-in-law, his son, Abraham's wife. And they went forth with them from all of the Chaldees to go into the land of where? Canaan. Canaan. And they came unto Haran and dwelt there. So they were on their way to Canaan. But when they came to Haran, they dwelt there. They couldn't go again. They were limited there. They were limited there. Genesis chapter 12, verse 5. Look at this. Verse 5. Verse 5. Verse 5. And Abraham took Sarah his wife and Lot his brother's son and all their substance that they had gathered and the souls that they had gotten in Haran. And they went forth to go into the land of Canaan. And into the land of Canaan they came. So Abraham... And who the father, Terah, they were going to Canaan. But when they got to Haran, mm. the Bible said the father died. Mm. They got there and they were limited. Mm. But the Bible said Abraham took the baton and went beyond Haran into Canaan. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the decisions that you must make in life is that where your father ended, you want to continue from there. Amen. If your father had 10, you must get 20. If your father had 20, you must get 40. If your father had 40, you must get what? 80. I prophesy. Elisha, Oscar, yes, Saki, receive grace to continue beyond where your father ended. In the name of Jesus. 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 Name of Jesus. Receive anointing. Receive, receive grace. Receive anointing. Be a line crosser. Be a torch bearer. Be a bridge builder. You shall say with David, by my God, I have run through a troop. By my God, I have run through a troop, and by thee I've leaped over a wall. Amen. Every wall ahead of you, I command you to leap over, Amen. to leap over, Amen. to leap over, Amen. to leap over, Amen. to leap over. Amen. Don't be a fool. Go beyond where your father ended. Am I talking to somebody here? Go beyond. Receive grace to go beyond. I want all my sons to be better than me. I want Oscar to be greater than me. Amen. Elisha, greater than me. Amen. My biological children, be greater than me. Pastor Saki, be anointed than me. Amen. Because what we say, the glory of the latter shall be greater than the former. As you are typing, amen, there is a grace coming on your life. You are going beyond your fathers. You are going beyond your parents. In the name of Jesus, you will not stop where the enemy stopped your father. In the name of Jesus, receive that grace. Receive that grace. Receive that grace. I have discovered. That people die out of sickness. But the sickness that killed your dad must not kill you. Amen. You must learn from the experience. Yes, Ask your family, what killed my dad? Mm. 
What killed my dad? If my dad died of this, I must learn of it. So I will not die the same way. Mm. Am I talking to somebody here? Yes, somebody shout yes. yes. Somebody shout yes. yes. Somebody shout yes. yes. Abraham decided to go beyond. You shall go beyond. Amen. Hey! I feel the anointing here. You shall go beyond. Somebody is going beyond. Kona makada kadoya. Veluta palada komaya. Ze katuka. Beliku kamaya. Receive grace. Share to all your friends. 100 of you, as you touch said, you are moving on. 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 Where my father ended, there I start from. Say after me. Where my father ended, there I start from. Where my father was stopped, there I continue from. In the name of Jesus. Say I am an agent of change in my family. I'm an agent of transformation in my family. I'm an agent of blessing in my family. I'm an agent of prosperity in my family. I receive, I receive, I receive, I receive. Now! I'm lifting a prayer point. Mm. Say in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Wherever, Wherever my father, my father ended, ended, I will not end there. Those are those cases, those cases that limited my that father, limited my father in, that place, in that place. I rise beyond. I, rise beyond. I, go, beyond I go beyond because my God, because my God said, said he, is he is the God who is able, who is able to, do to do exceeding, exceeding abundantly, abundantly above, above all, all that I ask or think or imagine. Right on, begin to pray. Sit down. I will break the limit. I will break the limit. I will break the limit. I will go forward. I will go forward. Where my father stop, I will continue. Where my father stop, I will continue. I will go forward. I will break the chain. I will break the limit. I will break the limit. I will break the limit. Kodobodo, 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 Kodobodo. I break the limit. I break the limit. I break the limit. I break the limit. That family limit that has been set. I break it now. I break it now. I break it now. I break it now. That limitation. I break it now. I break it now. I am a baton carrier. I am a baton carrier. I am a baton carrier. I am moving forward. I am moving forward. I am moving forward. I am moving forward. Koda bada basa. Koda bada basa. Koda bada basa. Koda bada basa. Rangwa na baya. Aya na bada ba. Ekede be. Ekede be. Ekede be. Ekede be. Koda bayo. Koda bayo. Koda bayo. Aya na ba. Aya na ba. Aya na ba. Ikono. Ikono bo. Ikono bo. Ikono bo. Aya kwa. Aya kwa. Aya kwa. Aya kwa. Aya kwa. I am moving forward. I am moving forward. I am moving forward. I am moving forward. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. I am moving forward. I am moving forward. I am moving forward. Now. 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 Tonight. 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 I am moving. 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 Radaba, 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 adabaya, adabaya, ayadabaya, ikodoba, ikodoba, radwana, 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 ayadabaya, 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 ikodoyo, 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 radabasa, 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 lakwana, 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 
Lakwada, 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 Ikonebe, 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 Radaba, 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 Iko, Iko, Rabaya, 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 Ayanaba, 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 now, 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 Jesus name. Hear me. Thank you, Brother Oscar. Listen, listen, listen. You got to go beyond your fathers. Share to all your friends now. You got to go beyond your fathers. There's an anointing coming on you now. Yes, Lord. Share to your friends. Anointing is coming on you right now in the name of Jesus. Share to all those friends now. So number one, I said Abraham chose to be in the will of God. Number two, Abraham chose to go beyond his fathers. Number three, Abraham made a choice to finish whatever he started. Wow. Share to your friends. Share to your friends. Abraham was a finisher. Yes, sir. Abraham was not a man who aborted his destiny. Mm. Am I talking to somebody yes, here? Sir. Abraham was not a man who wasted his destiny. Mm. He made a choice to finish what he started. Yes, Genesis chapter 12 verse 5. Remember they were going to Canaan. Mm. The father Terah, he got to Haran. And Babu say he died. Mm. All of them were going to Canaan. But look at what it says. Mm. It says, And Abraham took Sarai, his wife, mm. and Lot, his brother's son, mm. and all their substance that they had gathered, mm. and the souls that they had gotten in Haran. And they went forth to go into the land of Canaan. Look at the scripture. And into the land of Canaan they came. They were going to Canaan. Mm. And into the land of Canaan they came. You wanted to be a prophet, and a prophet you became. Amen. You wanted to be a business tycoon, and a business tycoon you became. Amen. You wanted to build a house, and the house you built. You wanted to be a woman of excellence, and a woman of excellence you became. Amen. Never abort your destiny. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, be a man that goes forward. Be a man that pushes. Am I speaking to somebody yes, here? Sir. Don't be a man who is distracted. Distraction is a great enemy of destiny. Wow. Write it down. Distraction is the greatest enemy of destiny. Don't be distracted mm. by women. Wow. Young men. Don't be distracted by women. Young women. Mm. Don't be distracted by money. Don't be distracted by money. Share to all your friends. Share to all your friends. There are so many people who start projects and they can't finish. Mm. You have so many projects. None of them has been finished. Wow. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, yes, I release grace for you. Amen. Receive anointing to finish. Share to all your friends now. Share to all your friends now. Receive anointing to finish. Receive unction to finish. Receive grace to finish. Receive grace to finish. I want hundred of you who are online. Just click share again. Let it go to that young man who is somewhere who is not paying attention. In the name of Jesus. Every project that you have, you will complete it. I say you will complete it. I say you will complete it. You shall complete the business. Yes, you shall complete the job. Yes, you shall complete the ministry. Yes, you will complete the assignment. Yes, Look at me. I am 30 years in ministry. Mm. Wow. And I'm preaching with fire. Mm. fire. You know why? Because I'm looking at men who have gone ahead of me. And they are still preaching. The bishop at the are preaching. Mm. The archbishop Duncan Williams are preaching. Yes, the Reverend Eastwoods are preaching. Yes, the Apostle Generals Sam Quanchakras are preaching. Yes, you can't abort your destiny. No. You can't waste your destiny. Mm. 
Anamo kasataka. Le gata karabazataya. Le kabrada. There is an anointing tonight to complete project. An anointing tonight to finish assignments. An anointing tonight not to abandon your project. Not to give up. Not to give in. Not to give way. Not to give out. What did I say? An anointing tonight not to give in. Not to give up. Not to give way. Not to give out. Don't give up. Don't give in. Don't give way. Don't give out. Be a finisher. Amen. That's exactly what Paul told Archippus. Mm. Archippus. Archippus. Colossians chapter 4 verse 17. I beg you, share to your friends. It's going to get serious. My goodness. He said, hey, and say to Archippus, take heed to the ministry. Take heed to the marriage. Take heed to the project which thou hast received in the Lord, that thou fulfill it. Thou fulfill it. Paul said to Archippus, fulfill it. Fulfill the marriage. Don't divorce. Don't divorce. Don't divorce. I'm talking to that lady. Don't pack your things out of that house. Nyabotre. Man, don't sack the woman from the house. Don't spoil your marriage. Don't spoil the marriage. Young preacher, don't backslide. There is nothing in the world. There is nothing the focal. There is nothing the the. The first man said, Foko Bia Niho. She knew, she knew we are saying. Empty. There are three things in the world the last of the flesh, the last of the eyes, and the pride of life. There is nothing there. Say to all your friends, say, 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 say. Are you getting blessed tonight? Say, 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 say. Bibia Niwi Asipium. Who call him for? I'm going to look for a new man to marry. Hmm. Do you know where he is also coming from? Hmm. I'm going to look for a new lady to marry. Do you know where she's also coming from? Stay in that marriage and pray to God. Oh, Bishop, I've prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed. Keep on praying. Because the new one that you are going, you don't know what will befall you there. Adoni Magada Morada Basaka Prakato. I've seen a lot of young people, they don't finish their assignment. Hmm. You, you submit to one father. When you did something and he rebuked you, you left him. You went to submit to another father. Mm. God panics the devil. Because there's an attitude in you that you have not changed. Mm. Oh, as for this man of God, he is too hard. And I want to go to the next place. Hey! hey. I need a father that will discipline me. I need a father that will tell me off. Yes, if you don't have a father that can tell you off, you are going nowhere. My papa, I or Richard Jaffa, he will tell you off. He will say, Sam, you are wrong. Go back and fix it. Receive that grace. 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 Keep on sharing now. Share. I want you to share. Say to Archippus, mm. by the time you sleep tonight, I give you assignment. In the book of Colossians 4.17, what did he say? Say to Archippus, take heed to the ministry which thou hast received in the Lord, that thou mayest what? Fulfill it. You see, Paul said, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Be a finisher. Amen. Receive grace to be a finisher. Receive grace to be a finisher. Receive grace to be a finisher. Share to your friends. Share to your friends. My God, what was the fourth choice of Abraham? Abraham made a choice to recognize God. At every point of his life. He recognized God. At every point of his life. Some people. When they left the place where they were nobodies. 
and money came into their hands to the next level, mm. they forgot God. But when you became a somebody, you have forgotten God entirely. Hmm. When you were single, Lord, I need a husband. And the husband came. But now, the way you used to pray, you have, you have just forgotten God. There are some guys, you suffered with a young lady together, built a family together. Now you have three children. The way you have built your family, now that money has come into your hands, you have forgotten God. And you are chasing girls. Girls! Somebody say girls. Girls. When you close from work, you don't go to the house. Abraham recognized God at every point of his life. Recognize God at every point of your life. Every point. When God began lifting me, mm. I became more serious. When you get to a better level, become more serious. Know that you are where you are today because of the grace of God. And you shall be where you shall be tomorrow, still because of the grace of God. Now, let us look at the points of Abraham, the levels of Abraham, where he remembered God. Genesis chapter 12, verse 7. Share to your friends now. And the Lord appeared unto Abraham and said, on, and said unto, unto thy seed, I will give this land. And there builded he an altar unto the Lord who appeared unto him. So when the Lord appeared unto Abraham, the Bible said, Abraham built what? An altar unto the Lord. Verse 8. And he removed from thence unto a mountain on the east of Bethel and pitched his tent, having Bethel on the west and high on the east. And there he built what? An altar unto the Lord and called upon the name of the Lord. He was building what? Altars. Building points. Genesis chapter 13 verse 4. He built another altar. Unto the place of the altar. Which he made there at the first. There Abraham called on the name of the Lord. Wow. Wow. 13 verse 18. Go ahead. Then Abraham removed his tent. And came and dwelt in the plain of Mamre. Which is in Hebron. And built there an altar unto the Lord. Very powerful. Genesis 22, verse 9. Again. They, and they came unto the place which God had told him of. And Abraham built an altar there. And laid the wood in order. And bound Isaac his son. And laid him on the altar upon the wood. He was building what? Altars unto the Lord. What is the meaning? Abraham acknowledged God at every point of his life. Acknowledge God at every point of your life. In other words, he was saying, Oh God, I am here because of you. I am where I am today because of you. I left that level, but today I am on a new level because of you. I'm not going to forget you. There are people, when they live where they were and they come to a new ground, they forget God. Am I talking to somebody here? Build altars for God. Abraham made a choice. Share to all your friends now. Share to all your friends. Share, share, share. When you are single, build altars. When you get married, build altars. When you give birth, build altars. When you have a job, build altars. When you start getting riches and wealth, build altars. At every level of your life, remember God. The last one for tonight. Abraham chose. Not to give room for strife mm. in his life. Abraham chose not to give room for strife. He chose not to give room for contention. Room for enmity. Mm. Room for strife. Room for enmity. Room for confrontation. Room for fighting. Jealousy. Mm. There was no room in the heart of Abraham. Make a choice. Not to place envy in your life. Jealousy in your life. Make a choice. Let me tell you. 
let me tell you, the energy that you need to fulfill destiny, don't use that energy to be fighting. Don't waste that energy in fighting people physically. It is not worth it. Do you know why? Because Lot wanted to fight with Abraham. But Abraham said, I will not come that low. Genesis chapter 13 verse 8. Look at that. 13 verse 8. Are you getting blessed tonight? Oh God. And Abraham said unto Lot, let there be no strife. I declare in your life, there shall be no strife. Amen. There shall be no envy. Amen. There shall be no jealousy. Amen. Say to all your friends, I bind the spirit of strife yes, in sir. your life. Yes, sir. In Western region, the spirit of strife, mm. envy, mm. jealousy mm. is in the region. When you see somebody is blessed, thank God for him. Bless God for his life. Don't envy the person. The only way to attract somebody's blessing in your life mm. is to thank God for his life. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And Abraham said unto the Lord, let there be no strife, I pray thee, between me and thee, and between my headsmen and thy headsmen, for we are brethren. For we are brethren. Abraham decided not to waste or divert the energy required to pursue destiny, to fighting, strife, contention, and tension. Mm. I'm speaking to somebody here. Yes, I want you to share to all your friends, my goodness, my goodness, if you live in strife, you will not fulfill destiny. Mm. Anybody who live in strife will not have a future. Mm. Write it down. Anybody that live in strife will not reach his desired destiny. Anybody that lives in bitterness will never arrive at his destiny. Learn to forgive and move forward in life. Learn to do what? Forgive, forgive and move forward in life. Learn to do what? Forgive, forgive and move forward in life. Hey, as for that man, I will not forgive him. As for that woman, I will not forgive him. As for my husband, no matter what he do, I won't forgive him. As for my wife, I won't forgive her. As for this, my daughter, I won't forgive her. Let me tell you, that bitterness will kill you. To kill you. And I'm all Zaka Takaya Bolobo Zantelebe. Hey, and all of us sit Talamaya Dasa. Any Monday, we can brand all of us Sakaya. Bandelebe Sakatoy. I feel the anointing. I feel the glory. I feel his goodness. I feel his power. I feel his anointing. Right now, as we begin to pray that in the name of Jesus, there shall be no strife. In your life and destiny, in the name of Jesus, there shall be no bitterness in your heart. In the name of Jesus, kola yamando nimiakasa eborosta kabrando lobosa. Lift your hands and put your hands on your heart and say, in the name of Jesus, every strife in my life, every bitterness in my heart tonight, I let it go. If you are bitter, you cannot be better. <laughs> if you are bitter, you cannot be better. You cannot be better. If you want to be better, leave bitterness. Lift your hands. Basaki, please come and pray for the next 10 minutes, 5 minutes. And I come back. Are you blessed tonight? Yes, sir. Come on, share, 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 share. Now we are about to pray all the points that we have raised. Mm. We are going to pray from the first one to the fifth one. You got to pray with us. Don't leave. Don't leave. Pray with us. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. Joyful way. We are going to pray. Calaba, Zaka, Branto, Lay, Lamb. Number one, you are praying that be found in the will of God. I shall be found in the will of God. La Gabra Dalaba Zakalabo. La Bara Dalaba. The man of God is coming. I'm going to come back again to pray with you. A great man of God. Man of God.
We are praying in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare. I, declare. I, will I will walk in the will and the purpose of God for my life. In the name of Jesus. I will not sway. I will not sway. I will not deviate from the plan and the purpose of the Lord for my life. For my destiny, in the name of Jesus, lift your voice and let's pray. We are declaring tonight that you will walk in the will and in the purpose of God. You will not lose your mark. You will not lose your way. In the name of Jesus, we declare that the purpose of God for your life, the purpose of God for your life shall be fulfilled. Shall be fulfilled. In the name of Jesus, I will walk. You will walk in the purpose of the Lord. Lift your voice and pray that the purpose of the Lord for your life shall not be in vain. In the name of Jesus, I will walk in the will, in the purpose of God. My life shall be a submission of the glory of God. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice and declare that you will walk in the will of God. You will walk in the plan, in the purpose of God. In the name of Jesus, we are declaring tonight that the will of God concerning our life shall be fulfilled. You will not walk in the permissive will of God. In the prayer tonight, you will walk in the perfect will of God. That the will of God for your life shall be perfect. In the name of Jesus, Rabo Shandamayan, Ibabalamayan, Rabako Shandamayan, Rabanadaba Shanda, Ibako Tala, Iranda Sura De. Antalikata, Rakusha da Bade, Ibranda Shonda, Raba Baba 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 I will walk in the will, I will walk in the will and the plan of God for my life. In the name of Jesus, I declare the plans of God for my life shall not be twatted, shall not be twatted. verse 4 I have glorified thee on the earth I have finished the work which thou gavest unto me this is Jesus speaking he said I have glorified your name on the earth I have finished the work we are praying tonight yes, sir. that your destiny yes, sir. will not be a liability yes, sir. that you will finish your course yes, sir. you will finish your race yes, in, the Jesus, in the name of Jesus say my father my, my father, father my in the father. name of Jesus I declare, I declare grace, grace to finish grace to, finish. Grace to, complete. to complete in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. My, plan, my plan my vision my purpose, my purpose. in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. On, this on this land of the living, of the living. I, declare, I declare I will finish I will well finish I will finish well, well. I will finish well. I will finish well. Lift your voice and declare. Lift your voice and declare. Tonight, you are praying for grace to finish. Jesus said, I have finished the work. You came unto me. And Jesus gave up the ghost. And he said, it is finished. Whatever you have begun, this year, you will finish. Whatever you have begun, in this month, you shall finish. In the name of Jesus. We see Christ to finish. We see Christ to finish. Lift up voice and pray that you will have finished whatever the Lord has given to you. Yabo Shaya, Ila Mamama, Ila Matonda, Randa Kiba, Ila Maye. We declare grace, O Lord. Grace, O Lord, to finish. Grace, O Lord, to finish. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Manda Maya, Granda Masha, Ila Matai, and Osaya. We declare. Let the grace of God to finish this year. Let the grace of God to finish that project come upon my life. I receive 
the finishing place. I receive the grace of completion in the name of Jesus. Manda Mayama, Rado Shada, Iba Baba Baba, Randa Mayasha, Yanabasha, Yanabasha, in the name of Jesus. We are praying. The Bible says that let nothing be done. Let nothing be done in strife and vain glory. We are praying in the name of Jesus. Let the spirit of envy, the spirit of strife, die in our life. Any seed of jealousy, any seed of envy, any seed of strife that has been planted in our heart, we are praying in the name of Jesus. Let that seed die in our life. Let us see die in our life. Say my father, my father father, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Any seed seed of envy of of strife, of of jealousy jealousy, in my heart, in my my life life. today Today, by the power by the the consuming power 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 of the Holy Ghost Ghost, we declare declare, let us see let us see die, 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 die let any seed of strife, any seed of envy, any seed of jealousy in my heart die, 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 In the name of Jesus, our father said, Abraham, remember God at every point of his life. Mm. Bible said, Thou shalt serve the Lord thy God, and he shall bless thy bread and thy water. We are praying tonight that the Lord will give us grace Grace. to remember him at every point of our life. Say, In the name of Jesus, Jesus, I declare tonight, I I shall remember remember the Lord, Lord. I shall remember remember the living God God. at every stage stage of my life, life. at every point point of my life. life. Say, Tonight, Tonight, I receive grace grace not to forget forget my God. God. I receive grace grace not to tell my God against my God. God. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice and begin to pray that you will not forget the God that brought you. Father, the same God that blessed you, that opened the door for you, you will not forget that God, for thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that given you power to get well, you are praying tonight, that you will not forget your God, that the God that blessed you, you will not tell your back against the God that blessed you, against the God that opened that door for you, in the name of Jesus, at every point in your life, you shall remember the Lord God. God. My God, we are praying for that grace. We are praying for that grace. We are praying for that grace. In the name of Jesus, grace upon your life. Grace upon your life. Grace upon your life. Grace upon your life. Grace on your life. Grace on your life. Grace on your life. In the name of Jesus. Bless you. Gadaba Gadada. Listen. Decisions are very important. Every point that you have received tonight must be part of your life. These are five golden points. Always choose to be in the will of God. Choose always to be in the will of God. No matter what, whatever it will cost you, choose to be in the will of God. It is a great thing to be in the will of God. And it is a disaster to not to be in the will of God, mm. but to be in the permissive will of God is a disaster. Mm. I'm talking to you. You know what I'm talking about. Always choose to be in the will of God. Mm. Choose. It's a choice. It's a choice. The the company that I am working in is not the will of God. Get out. Get out of that company. This guy that keeps on coming to my house 
It's not the will of God. I'm getting out. This lady who is who keeps on get coming to me, texting me messages. It's not in the will of God. I'm getting out. It's a choice. It's a choice. It's a choice. Student, it's a choice. This masturbation that you are doing, Charlie, it will destroy you. Masturbation have destroyed thousands of people. It's a choice. Choose to be in the will of God. To be a lesbian. It's a choice. You want to be a lesbian? You want to be gay? Hey, bro. The guy is a bros. Charlie, bros. bros, Charlie, you are destroying yourself. Oh. You want to be a prostitute? Charlie, don't go there. It's a no-go area. You will waste your destiny. You want to fight your father in the ministry? Hey, my brother, don't do that. You want to go and gossip about your, 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 your spiritual father, your biological father? Come on. It's a choice. You have gone to sit in a place and you have used your spiritual father like a capia. And I'm all winner. It's a choice. Choose to be in the will of God. Just choose. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Number two, I told you, I said, Abraham chose to exceed the limit of his father. I'm going to be praying now. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, just taking the point again. Choose to exceed. Go. Your assignment tonight is to go ask your mother, ask your father, ask your auntie, ask your senior brother the limitations that were in the family mm. and choose that you will not be limited by those things. You must not be limited by those things. Don't be limited by them. Refuse to be limited by them. My father was a drunkard. I will not be a drunkard. My father died at the age of 45. I will not die at the age of 45. What killed my dad? I have to separate myself from that. That is a wise decision. Number three, I said to you, Abraham chose to finish whatever he started. Be a finisher. Don't, don't be doing too many things at the same time. Jack of all trade. Is a master of none. Jack of all trade is a master of none. Only you, this young lady, you have five men that you are praying about. Come on. You can't live your life like that. You can't live your life like that. Choose to finish your assignment. Decide you go to school, you move on, you do this one, and you move to this one, you move to this one, you move to this one, and you are going, you are moving, you are moving. Be a finisher. You see, and before you can be a finisher, don't be distracted. Don't be distracted. There are so many things distracting people today. Worldliness, the gold, the girls, and the glory. The three genes. The gold, the girls, and the glory. The gold, the girls, and the glory. One of them will be distracting you. Stay aside. Don't be distracted by the gold. Money must not be the focus for ministry. Money must not be the focus for, for, for your life. Oh, as for me, this young man came to prophesy to tell me that he will marry me. The young man has not got money, so I'm not going to marry him. Did he even pray about it? He didn't even pray about it. You see, when I went to propose to my wife, I, I didn't have anything. No. I, I didn't have anything. The best thing is that the man must be ambitious. The man must have a vision. My wife was working. I had just finished the university and I came out. I was not working. I would wait for my wife to get her salary. Then I will go to her shop where she was working and I was speaking tongues and I will collect her money. And I will just collect my wife's money. And she would give me because she loved me. But she saw a young man that wanted to do ministry. And she followed. And she followed. It was not long. I broke through. The Lord engraced me and I broke through. My wife did not look at he doesn't have. Some of us, 
if the guy doesn't have a Range Rover, what what car does he drive? Abba, what car does he drive? Hmm. Eh? Do, you have a car? Do you have a car? Do you have a car? Have you traveled before? Come on. Everybody has three days in life. Three days. Everybody has three days. Everybody. Your yesterday, your today, hmm. and your tomorrow. So don't judge a man in his yesterday. Mm. Finish whatever you have started. Don't be distracted. Choose well. Choose well. Some of you, the moment you saw the guy was driving a nice car, you, you even pray. Mm. You just went to marry the guy. When he starts slapping you, give you one slap, left, boah, right, boah. Then you know. That Jesus is Lord. And God forbid. I'm asking to somebody here. Number four, choose to recognize God at every level of your life. You see, I have decided that the higher I go, the more simple I become. I made a personal choice. So the, the, I don't flow with men of God who are proud. I don't like that. One day I went to Nigeria to preach. Hear this. I was doing an all night. The all night starts from 10 o'clock to 4 p.m. I know as men of God, when you are about to enter, okay, the crowd, about 6,000 people in the auditorium, people were outside. So the protocol were moving me with speed to enter the church. And once we are about to enter, a woman with a baby behind the back, she was crossing, and the guy almost hit the woman. The woman, leave there. I said, please stop. Stop. I was going to preach. I said, stop. I said, Charlie, this is the same church I am coming to preach. If there are no people, there are no pastors. If there is no people, if, the, if there is no human being, what are we here for? I said to the woman, sorry, ma. Sorry, ma. And on behalf of this young man, I want to apologize. Sorry, ma. Come inside. Took the woman inside. She said, sit down. I'm asking to somebody here. Respect to human beings. Now that you had small anointing, young man of God, you are charging for, 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 no prophecy, for counseling. counseling. Abba, bro, bros. Today, I want to speak their language, bros. <laughs> I mean, bros, why are you charging? I went to see a, a friend of mine those days I used to work with, and I went to his church, and he was charging. I said, Can you stop charging people. Are you charging them to do them counseling? The other day, I was doing counseling. Pastor, like you remember, the woman came to my counseling session, and when she was leaving, she said, how much? I said, God forbid. We don't charge here. Mm. Freely I receive and freely I give. She was taking an offering. I said, don't give me. That's the altar. Go and drop it there. I'm not here for that. It's not the money that you give me that will feed me. Mm. I'm talking to you. I decided that the higher I go, the more simple I become. The more simple I become. The more approachable I become. Choose to be simple. Am I speaking to somebody? Yeah? The greatest men of God, the powerful people who own companies, if you see them, they are very simple. When you go to big, big, big companies and you see receptionists, eh? some of the people who don't own anything there, the way they are seated, hello, can I do something for you? <laughs> I mean, sometimes you wonder, but you see the CEO, a very simple man, Am I talking to somebody here? Yes, Choose to calm down. Calm down. Mm. Bros, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Let's calm down. Because you see, the way to the top is down. The way to the top is down. Me, very soon I'm, I'm going to be 50 years. But listen, if you see me when I'm 70 years, I'll be more down, 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 down. Yes, it's not about money. Thank you, prophet. It's not about money. It's not about money. It's not about money. It's not about money at all. Make a choice. Make a choice. Recognize God at every strategic point in your life. 
As you go high, you come down. As you go high, you come down. As you go high, you come down. You are a husband. Take good care of your wife. Now that you have money, take good care of your family. Look back. Take good care of your family. There is sickness out there. Everything you see. Hey, s -s 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 hey s woman, woman. And woman, submit to your husband. Submit to your husband. Don't be, don't be petty. Don't, don't fight. Don't fight. Recognize God at every point of your life. Share, I'm going to be praying now. And the last one, the choice not to give room for strife. Mm. If you follow your heart, you always fight. Because some people, eh, sometimes they are annoying. They need to, you need to sometimes reply them. Mm. Are you mad? But it's not worth your time. It's not worth your time. I made a statement. I said, Abraham decided not to waste or divert the energy required to pursue destiny, to fighting, to strife, mm. to contention, to tension. Are you hearing me? Please. Share to all your friends. I beg you in the name of Jesus. It's not, it's not good to fight. You put somebody in your heart for the past 10 years. You won't forgive the person. You, the person has moved on. The person is free. You are the one who is not free. Move on. Move on. Please, I beg you. Move on. One of the things I discovered that people who are peace they live long. People who are at peace, they live long. People who are bitter, they don't live long. If you want to live longer, eh, live bitterness. Live that thing. Live that thing. Yes, you have certain, choose to focus on the things that will make you happy. Not the things that will give you sadness and sorrow. Always look at the bigger picture, the good side. Don't look at the negative side. I'm not talking, yes, you are, you are in the marriage. But look at the good side of the husband and move on in the marriage. Look at the good side of your husband. Look at the good side of your wife and move on in your marriage. Am I talking to somebody here? You are in a church. Some things have gone bad. Look at the good side of your spiritual father and move on. You are jumping like a hippopotamus and you are going to another church to go and start all over again. For what? Don't give room for contention. Don't give room for strife. Don't give room for confrontation. If I see this guy, eh, Anamosa, and you speak some tongues, those, those, those tongues are not from God. Man, they both are. I will slap him. That tongue is not from God. Yeah? No. Eh, no, no confrontation. Leave him. Leave him. Leave him. Leave him to his what? Conscience. Don't give room for strife. Don't give room for bitterness. Don't give room for confrontation. Unforgiveness. Am I? Betty Amanqua, thank you, my daughter. Don't leave it. Leave it. Leave it. One day somebody offended me big time. Bishop, I've changed to me. Oh, come on. When I was very young in the ministry, there are some things I will not, I will not spare you. But these days I look at something and I, and I just walk because I have books to write. I have messages to preach. I have places to travel. I will leave you alone now. I got to go forward. Somebody offended me not long. I saw the guy and I said, hey, come, come, come. How are you? I just had him. The guy was confused. <laughs> he was just confused. He was not expert. I said, how are you? How are you? How are you? Come, come on, come on. Sit in the car. And he was, I said, sit in the car. Let's go. He was confused. I pray for you. Stretch your hands. I pray for you. I pray for you. Today I'm not taking any offering. I don't feel like that because I just feel I just need to tell you this. I pray for you. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. I want you to look at the message eh? and then look at the page and like the page. Just like the page. Like it. Bishop Samuel said to like the page. Okay? Then go to Instagram and then follow me at Bishop Samuel Osedu. Tell all your friends to follow. Tell all your friends to follow. Okay? Tell all your friends to like the page. Go to our YouTube and then also.
do what? Subscribe. Go to their Twitter. Do the same thing. On Sunday morning, I'm going to come your way again. All right? No power. No demon. I'm going to come again. I had 10 choices that Abraham made. I gave you only five. I'm going to continue. Do you like the message, Oscar? I'm telling you. It's not every time that you have to pray. I bind demon. I bind witch. I bind witchcraft. I'm telling you things that will make you. Things that will make you strong. Am I speaking to somebody here? One day I was speaking to Bishop Tasagi Nasari and I was talking about how men of God are insulted. And you know what he told me? He said, Bish, he said, there are many sons who praise us. Many sons who, who thank God for our lives. I don't have time to think about this one. And I took wisdom from there. Always look at the people who are celebrating you. Why are you 